In this video we are going to get amygdalin from the apricot kernel. Amygdalin is very toxic. When ingesting amygdalin, salivary glucosidases hydrolyze it and the products of this hydrolysis are hydrolyzed again in the intestine by the emulsin, decomposing into glucose, benzaldehyde, and hydrogen cyanide. The hydrogen cyanide it is a poison that inhibits cellular breathing. The lethal dose of hydrogen cyanide is 0.6 to 1.5 mg kilogram body weight. Amygdalin in 1920 was used to reduce cancerous tumors, but it was discarded due to its high toxicity and low effectiveness. Amygdalin is present in seeds of various plants like bitter almond, apple and apricot seeds at very low doses that are regulated by the European Food Safety Authority. In this operation, we are going to use apricot seeds that we dried in a 60 degree oven for 24 hours. Crush approximately 150 grams of dry seeds. We put in place a Soxlet extractor with a 500 milliliters flask to extract all the fat from the seeds. Loaded the filter cartridge with 30 grams of raw material. To prevent material from being removed from the cartridge, cover with filter paper. We added 250 to 300 milliliters of dichloromethane. We will conduct four operations of 30 grams and extraction time of 5 to 6 hours each. After these operations, most of the dichloromethane was distilled for recovery and the resulting oil was removed. The degreased seeds are dried in a hood or outdoor on a hot plate at 50 degrees. Place the dried seeds into a 1000 ml flask containing 250 ml 96% ethanol. 2 hours of reflux heat. Separate the solid by suction of the liquid phase. The liquid phase is evaporated under vacuum in a water bath. Reflux the solid with ethanol distilled in 2 hours. Filter and evaporate ethanol in the same rotor vapor flask. A thick residue of caramel remains within the flask. Add 10 milliliters of ethanol and stir vigorously. Decant the ethanol and add 5 ml of ether to precipitate the amygdalin. Collect the amygdalin by suction filter. Repeat the extraction with 10 ml of ethanol and precipitation with 5 ml of ether until no amygdalin precipitate. The residue obtained is dried in an oven at 50 degrees. The yield was 4.2 grams of amygdalene. 